Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigla here, welcome back to our video. So I got a few artifact reforges from the League Invasions, quite a decent amount, even though you get them only once a month. And they rolled a bit on the puppet. So uh, compared to the previous bonuses, I think I had the only relevant thing was like 20% lethal that I had in total, because I had two commons. And then I had a normal attack, but what I'm concerned about, and I want to see how that goes, is the additional dot and hazard dot damage. Now, yesterday I used Beast Boy, and obviously Beast Boy does not need any help because he clearly one-shots everything, but I just want to see the difference between uh, the plus 25% hazard dot damage and the little bit of lethal. But to get to that, we're gonna first have to do a few different fights, because none of the fights I have available here are good for that, because this man is crit resistant, this man is not full health, and this man is also crit resistant, so let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the Constantine Redemption art, hopefully, because um, this is how much damage we did with the different Constantine team yesterday, and we're gonna try this again. By the way, I have level 10 Joker as bet on Constantine, and level 10 Puppet, and level 2 Puppet on the other two characters. Yeah, hopefully this is enough. Hopefully. Oh boy, I tried to turn down the sound of the game, and I turned it up. Uh, it should be good. Though that kind of missed the tagons. Also, since uh, Black Admin is not really applying negative effects, I think this man might be immune to armor pierce, which is good that we're not using Twin Blade, I guess. I think I'm gonna use the Terror Special to apply Poison, because it's just easier for me to combo and drop after it. Oh, my bad here. I'm also lagging a bit. Bro! Why am I so bad at this? Oh, no, okay, okay, I managed to combo and drop. I always forget that I shouldn't tank uh, Superman with Black Adam, because whenever he tags him, he uh, power drains the enemy a little bit. But yeah, so far this fight looks pretty damn hopeless. Like, the damage really sucks. Oh boy. Yeah, on one hand I didn't really play this great, so on the other hand I'm not sure if I played perfectly, he most likely still would not have one shot. Oh boy, I'm starting to like less and less Constantine's opener. But yeah, that's as far as this goes. Though that also opens an opportunity to test out uh, Mr. Freeze uh, with some hazard damage. Okay, so here we have Puppet of Mr. Freeze. We got Victim. We got Arkham Knight Batman, I guess. Normally I would use a Martian Manhunter, but he does provide some hazard dot damage. Uh, and yeah, recapping, we're gonna benefit from this in, in the following ways. First of all, it has lethal damage, and we do have lethal chance, and it has hazard dot damage epic. 
So let's see how this goes. By the way, Vixen has a sort of salvation here. Why is she literally missing only two gears? I think I was ungearing her for like a Chaos Dagon fight and that changed my mind like midway. Yeah, we might as well equip all of them. But yeah, let's get going. Let's see what damage values we're getting. Uh, for comparison, I don't really have anything here because I used Mr. Freeze with Poppet yesterday, but it was against Flash. We had Chaos Tag, and I only used one teammate, and that was Power Girl. I did not press a jump attack there. And super up here with Vixen, because we need those Mr. Freeze passive stacks. Also a special one. Because now we tag in Mr. Freeze, we're gonna go do a special two. And another special two, and now we have infinite power and super move. Uh, and I, I messed up. Because I did not have enough negative effects on him. But whatever. I still got it. Eventually. Oh, it's not active when he's not in the freezer. Bro, move! Move! Get, get your ass in there. And... This is extremely frustrating. And it's, it's my fault. But he's not helping, okay? This Nightwing is definitely not helping, but yeah, we got it finally. Oh, I lost a good 20 seconds of damage because of that. But yeah, I think we got this. But that was a terrible, terrible start. It was my fault because I rushed the super move. I should have gotten more negative effects before doing the super move. So yeah, my bad here. But that Nightwing backing off and just refusing to enter the freezing area. That was... That was just awful. Yeah, damage is pretty decent. Although up to 8.1 mil, and that's pretty damn high considering we only have a level 10 level and the, and the level 2 artifact for passive stats. Oh boy, are we gonna kill this? Am I gonna spend 3 fights against this dumbass Nightwing? Nah, bro, there's no way. We're not killing him. He's gonna get unfrozen soon, and now there's a period until he gets back frozen where we just don't deal damage. No! Oof. This is bad. It's turning into a struggle to reach the point where I can actually use Beast Boy with puppets. So I guess that's the goal now, just not mess up the next two fights. Actually, let me correct that real quick, because we also messed around with Nightwing yesterday, so this is the fourth fight I'm using against this man. And I could have one-shot him from the first fight yesterday. And yeah, we're still messing around here, though he doesn't really have the health to be a threat, but they have Puppet on Grods. Puppet Grods is not that great, generally speaking. I mean, he's fine, but... Problem is he knocks the enemy down, so we have to wait a bit more for the enemy to get up. But I thought I'll, I'll share the monkey mode experience versus Nightwing. But yeah, let's uh, let's finally move on from this fight. Okay, so here we have Batman the Drowns with God Killer, Robin King with Puppets, then Green Lantern with Puppets. Hopefully, we're gonna easily take um, care of Robin here. Uh, the only thing uh, that this man does is that he has crit resistance, which Robin King takes care of, and he disables specialty, which I don't really care about.
This should be infinite power. Okay, let's go. Oh, let's just spam the third special. Still have some percentage all damage though. Yes, we did. So oh, that's for sure the last one. Oh, we don't have blind anymore. Can we get this man to not even use super move? That'll be great. And he's dead. Okay, let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so here we have Raven with sort of Salvation, Dark Malakar's Harley. And we have EPI with Puppets. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. This is uh, this has to be a one-shot if I want to test out that Beast Boy, which I'm probably going to put in the time mill, and you guys already waited enough for that. Couple bits. Back off again. Now let's see how much damage Harley does here. Oh, that's a pretty decent amount of damage. I haven't used uh, on the main account at least uh, League of Anarchy Raven in ages. But yeah, that's 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 to be expected. I okay, guess so here we have uh, Beast Boy with puppets, Regimenter with puppets, and then Black Manta. This is the exact thing I used yesterday, and let's see how I did yesterday. Also, I think I used it also against the tech character, so no difference in terms of that. Actually, I used it against the Might character yesterday, but it's okay because both Might and Tech don't interact with uh, Meta Human in any way. And what we want to see here, what's the peak damage whenever we uh, do Super Move and keep the combo. And that's going to be roughly 20 mil, gets up to 26 when we um, have enough damage against Target to get that. And I don't think it's going to go any higher than that. It's... So it's 20, then peak 25 to 26, and 33 at points. Though, we're going to eventually lose the combo and it goes back to 10. So we're going to look for 20 to 25 right after activation. Maybe you are going to keep in mind that uh, peak of 33. This guy actually changes the class, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. But this is the best I can do. Or is it? Hold on, I think I have another fight here. Yeah, Blue Beetle is, is gonna be even better to test this out on. It's Arcane again, we don't have any advantage or disadvantage against it. Uh, so let's get this going. First of all, we need to generate some power. Use a couple of these, now super move. Use this to push him to the corner. 39, 39 is exactly how much I had yesterday. So that's gonna start off at 21. Which is roughly the exact amount we were getting yesterday. Okay, 27. 27 now from tw almost 28 from the 25 value. Even 29 at points. I guess that's when the lethal hits. That's when the 29 and 36. Yeah, there's definitely a little bit of an increase in damage. Is nothing huge. 
And it doesn't matter because she's gonna easily one-shot this with or without it. But it's definitely a sizable increase. But yeah, if you are to spend your artifact upgrade resources, Puppet wouldn't be the first thing I would spend them on. I would go for a Dark Metal cards most likely. But yeah, let's move on to the secondary account. Okay, so yeah, first of all we're gonna deal with Supergirl, then we have to deal with this garbage. But uh, back to this, she's got Cloaked, Fortified, and um, Harmonious. So the best thing I could come up with is uh, Raven with level 1 Dark Metal cards, Raiden with Twin Blades at level 7, and Classic Wonder Woman. Hopefully this will be enough. We can't... maybe I can actually combo and drop her. Because Raiden's got some pretty solid basics. Okay, let's actually try that. Oh! That wasn't even too bad. Okay, let's just stack all the darkness. So it gets peak damage from Raiden. Here, Raiden, let's see what we can do here. Uh, I think I might have messed up here, because I don't have enough energy to... Yeah, I've done this mistake before where I do super move with a character that is using Raven and then Tagging Raven to reset the darkness, and there's no power to reset the darkness because I'm dumb. Not the first time this happens. Also, looking at the values that we got from this so far, it's going decently, but I, I don't think we have any chance of killing this. Which sucks. I guess I should have definitely used some percentage shell damage against her for moving into this thing. Okay, so here we don't have the Dark Metal card, so I'm just gonna tag Raven in to reset that, because we definitely want a crit. Yeah, the combo interruption is not going too bad. We're getting close enough to killing her. Oh, we're not gonna kill her. I, I can very clearly tell that much. I'm not sure if I didn't mess up the Raven Darkness if we would have had the chance to kill her or not. That is too late for regrets. Okay. That's as far as we go here. That clearing? 400 mil on her specifically might be a headache, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Okay, first of all, let's see what Destro can do here. We got Norris Snow Globe on him, and we got the Power Girl with a level 7 puppets. So yeah, first of all we need to get Power Girl killed, so that we don't get stacked in and out randomly, and then we'll see what we can do. Again, problem is, he's a um, tier 2 boss, so he deals next to no damage. Oh, he blocked there. Unfortunate. Oh, he deals kind of, kind of a decent amount of damage to Deathstroke somehow. 
But yeah, we don't even get the benefits from this, because usually when you're using North Snow Globe and something doesn't deal damage, A, at least those clones are gonna survive, but that's not the case here, because they're gonna get tagged out by the kill tag in any way. So we're not really winning because of it in any way. Blocking here, our third special, not second special, excuse me, I will think about King, I might use King too here. Okay, we're done. Except for the clones. Now, if we could get him to do a super move on me, that would be amazing. Okay, we got it. And he killed me with a super move, that's great. Bro, don't back off from the clone, we have limited time with it anyway. Oh, three second specials from the clone. This is this is great. This is kind of best case scenario. I guess you could get four of them out if you get real lucky. No, no, there's no, no, nah, bro. This is so cringe. How did you manage to kill? You are struggling hard to kill Deathstroke and then use the third special. You kill him with the first part and then you get, kill, hit the claw with the second part of it. Yeah, the rest of the fight is pointless. I'm just, I'm just gonna skip to the ends. Okay, so we did 800 mil. Not terrible, but there's a lot of work still to be done here. I guess here we have King with uh, North Snow Globe. Dr. Dr. Fate with Puppet here. Uh, and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do here. I also removed the gears from King because I think with gears we would have no way to get him killed. Yeah, my buddy killed Dr. Fate faster. Oh boy, I'm about there. As we'll do a third special, we do have the energy for it. Okay, he killed Dr. Fate relatively fast. I'm actually quite happy with that. Bro, come on! Our third special in there. Back off a little bit. Still need to do one more. Okay, super move, uh, though it's not the best moment because we don't really have enough power. So I think I'll get to enough power to do one third special. No, he the jump attack didn't work. Okay, spam this. No. Uh, yeah, that clone did not do well. My bad. A little bit of an unfortunate tagging on this clone, but at least this one did get the third special. And I'm not gonna get much more out of this now, especially because I have no gears on King, so I'm just gonna skip to the end again. Okay, this is what we're left with to deal with. And I just met them in the ground and I got those um, reforges, so I guess we might as well try to use them in the video. I want to get maybe some... Oh, look at that. Exactly that's what I was looking for. Would be ideal if we got an epic, obviously, but a rare is, is just good enough. Okay, special one damage, nope. Lethal damage common. I mean, it's better than resistances, I guess, but still nope. Oh, lethal damage, epic. Okay, this, this, is, this is pretty decent. And we're gonna have my boy Green Lantern here with puppets. 
Batman drown with God Killer. I'm gonna open with Batman the drowns, but try to not hit the enemy to not reduce his attack. But I'm opening with her because um, uh, I want him to generate power while she's in there and then use a special on him. Because usually when I start off with a character that I want to get killed, it just gets some basics on it and then uh, the next character gets hit with a special. So this might be a little bit more optimal. Okay, one more tag and should ideally get this done. Block for now. Maybe get the super move in there. Yeah, a super move ain't gonna hurt. Come on, tag him in. Gonna soon do a special. Okay. Can we get him killed on this tag and that would be amazing. He might. Yes, let's go. That was not that terrible. Dog him back and off into a jump attack 10 million times is terrible. Okay, buddy. Okay, now it's my turn. You're not gonna be able to do anything for the rest of this fight. Okay, this is not great. I like 7.5 mil. After super move. Oh, I messed up a little bit here. It's really not great. Like, I don't think we're gonna kill this man with this amount of damage. You need to keep in mind that from the usual setup, we're missing classic Wonderman. And boy, that crit damage really feels when it's missing. And we don't really have a damage healing artifact here. We have the God Killer. Which is more for convenience purposes. But there's no way I could have used any artifacts like his Dark Mellow cards. We would have had a very hard time triggering the passive because this one would just jump around, swipe back into a jump attack, spam his specials. That would have been an awful experience. And with the Kami Dog Dagger, even worse, because we lose combo for blocking specials. It is bugged. I'm gonna get one more activation. I might just leave this man alive and come back and use the same thing tomorrow and kill him that way. Though Puppet Lord Joker would also be an option. Though it would take quite a while to get Robin and Grodd killed. So I don't know about that one. Okay, how much is there left? Yeah, we might actually try the Batman Ninja team here. I guess here I have Lord Joker. With Puppets. Grodd with the... Talisman with Atlantis or whatever that is, just for passive stats. And yeah, let's see how this goes and how much it actually takes to get my characters killed. Because I'm not really optimistic about this fight specifically. Also, I should not be using uh, basic hits for now, because all I'm gonna do is um, decrease his attack. We definitely don't want that. Okay, Grodd got damaged a decent bit. Um, now we got Joker. With Joker, we don't want to do anything. Oh, we don't have access to the special one. That's also a bit of a problem because that's... Um, that's some um, kind of getting my infinite power. Though I can get it in other ways. But boy, so many fights against this man. And only now I notice I don't have the special one. I guess I never needed it in the previous fights. That's why I just didn't care. Okay, Grodd got tagged in, that's great. Okay, Grodd's dead. Robin got tagged in, that's amazing. Okay. Get Joker in there. 
Not sure if it's worth doing the special queue instead of just doing spamming third special. Okay, got special disabled here. Okay, we got infinite four. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I think I do survive the super move here. Do I would like to get a few hits in there first? Okay, so we have the full attack reduction stacks. Okay, that, that was no problem tanking that super move, actually. That was not even a question. Though the question is, do we have enough damage? And I think we do. Look at this. I pressed swipe attack three times in a row, and three times in a row this man did a tap attack instead. Excuse me, I have to stop the microphone for a little bit to, to, to take proper sneeze. And with sneezing, it's a little bit different when recording, because like... Uh, I have no problem burping, or, or even farting, though the microphone doesn't pick that up, but... With the sneeze, it might create very high dis auditory discomfort, especially if you have headphones on, so that's why I'm stopping the mic at that point. I don't think we're... Or are we killing this man? It's gonna be a real close one. I hate when it's a real close one. No, I misclicked! I used a special two instead of a third special there. Don't... Oh, 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 I almost messed it up. I almost messed it up with that special too, but we got it with 0.1 seconds. Let's go. This man was an awful experience, but we, we, we got through it. And for the last fight of the video, I'm gonna try Joker with Dark Malakars here. EPI would pop it for passive stats mainly. And Flash with Norris Snuggle at level 1 to hopefully get killed and give me some damage on Joker. Yeah, this requires me to cardboard drop this garbage and... Uh, I'm not sure how likely that is to work. I'll give it my best shot. Oh, that's not a great start. That is a terrible start. <laughs> and that was a bit unlucky, I guess. But it is not going well so far. Come on. We also use the special Q to continue a combo, I guess, but we can't really do that endlessly. Yeah, honestly, using Raven plus Raven was a mistake. I should have just used the League of Anarchy plus, like, Joker type of deal plus Raven. And that would have definitely been a one-shot here. Let's tag an EPI to get a little bit of healing. Because I'm probably gonna mess up the combo interruption again at some points. Uh, yeah, I should have tanked that with Flash. Let's try and let Flash, Flash die now. Also, I deal heavily reduced damage whenever I let her do a special too, because that gives her a lot of armor. Flash is getting killed relatively quickly. I might have been better off doing this at the start of the fights. Oh, she got the armor again. Ah, uh, there goes 30 more seconds of not dealing damage. Like, look at this garbage. Look at how much damage we're dealing here. Yeah, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.